Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out vinyl stencils on Eco Resin. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's quickly talk about some basic supplies you're going to need. You will need acrylic resin, vinyl decals, molds, scrap credit card, acrylic paints and other consumables. I got my acrylic resin from Sir Resin and Molds by Seriously Design. She has some amazing starter kits. If you're in South Africa, you can check out her shop. She has everything you need to get started. Custom vinyl decals can be purchased on Etsy or Facebook Marketplace. You will need to request that it be made as a stencil. You can make it yourself if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette Cameo. I am using Montmartre's Saturn Acrylic Paints. These are beautiful and highly pigmented paints. I would also recommend getting a thin paintbrush to hide imperfections. Other consumables such as jugs, plastic cups, mixing sticks, etc. will also be needed for this project. So I've mixed up some acrylic resin in my cup over here. It is a one to two part ratio. If you're new to this, I will link my Jasmineite playlist in the cards and you can go and check out some of my other videos. So I'm not gonna go over the measurements in this video because I've done that in my previous videos. I've added black pigment into my mixture and my pigment has gotten a bit dry. Luckily, I can still use it. So I'm just going to add the mixture into my mold um, once I've stirred all of that up, once I've mixed the pigment in really well. And then I'm just going to tap the edges of the mold uh, to get rid of any air bubbles. <laughs> I'm going to let this dry for about 40 minutes and then we'll be ready to stencil the piece. Once I've demolded this, I'm going to add my vinyl decal stencil to my trinket tray and just make sure to burnish that down really well. Once that's done, I'm going to remove the transfer tape and get ready for the fun part. So as you can see, I am burnishing this down with my finger. You do want to make sure that the vinyl is stuck down pretty well so that the paint doesn't seep underneath the vinyl. Typically, that shouldn't really happen. Um, I didn't have any problems when I did a tester and when I did this piece, um, so it should be okay if you're using vinyl. So I'm just going to add a strip of paint along the side of my design and then I'm going to take a card and similar to screen printing, we're going to pull the paint down over the design. Once I'm happy with how it looks, I'll go ahead and remove the decal.
So I did run into a few issues. I had a bit of trouble removing the piece of vinyl from the letter A. So what I decided to do was let the paint dry, then remove that piece. Because if I removed it while the paint was wet, the paint would have smudged. There were some boo-boos. As you can see, some of the paint did smudge. So I just took a thin paintbrush and went over it. And that took care of the problem. This is my first time doing this, so I don't think it turned out too bad. So I'm going to just let the paint dry a little bit and then I'll probably sand and varnish this piece off of camera. Um, I didn't want to do that on camera. I just thought it wasn't really necessary. I did want to keep the video just simple. Um, but you will need to sand and varnish your pieces, especially if you're going to sell them. But seriously, how pretty is this? It's so simple to do and the results look so professional and you don't need to be a veteran painter to paint your jasmineite pieces. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye!